Hey guys, we just had the big Ashes Gathering update and Steven asked for some feedback questions. We're going to try to answer those questions for Steven as well as talk to you guys a bit about the Gathering thing. Uh, before we get into it, just, you know, a quick little warning, right? I I've got a very old dog with kidney problems and he's kind of, he's, he's showing the symptoms as such right now. Um, so I'm really struggling to want to be on camera and to want to film and, and to, tr to do my usual chipper self. So I I'm going to do my best in this video. Um, thank you for watching still. So one of the first things they start out talking about is that you can now gather almost everything that you see in the game supposedly right the, the way they worded it was basically you see a tree you can chop a tree you see a rock you can mine the rock that sounds really good right that is one of those things that kind of helps make things feel a little bit more real it's weird when you uh come across like you know these two things and it's like why can't i mine this one why can't i do this one uh you know it, it can be a little odd this is one of those things that you know new world and uh, new world will probably get some mentions here because i do think their gathering system is one of the best ones that are currently on the market and this is one of those things they do is like you know pretty much every boulder that you see you can mine that boulder uh pretty much just about every single tree you see except some of the ones like actually in the like you know the the actual cities and towns you can't chop the ones down inside the towns but all around the outside and everywhere you're out in the world you pretty much get to chop every tree that you can see now next he wants feedback on the visual fidelity that was one of the big points of this here one of the they've made some massive improvement and, and shout out ashes really like for a scam kickstarter game y'all really are putting in the work and the money to make the game improve right it's it's kind of crazy now with that said i don't think it's perfect obviously right it's still alpha footage and such everything gets prefaced with that uh there's a few things that are amazing the way the tree falls and the physics that they've gotten in there that part i like the, the dust or the snow kicking up this stuff was all incredible but there are things that were kind of like jarring for me personally that stuck like just stuck out you know like a thor a sore thumb uh one of them being the cutting height now when you watch the guy the character model swing the axe at the tree you all we can all obviously see the visual height that you're swinging the axe and then when the tree is done being chopped the cut line is very high like way higher than where you're swinging the axe typically now this is kind of nitpicky but if the whole point is immersion and trying to get it as real as possible then having the cut line be lower where it's actually more in line with where your axe is hitting the tree this would be a large improvement the other really big thing that stuck out to me is this shit looks like it was straight up cut across with a chainsaw and even with a chainsaw you pretty much can't straight cut a tree it's it's pretty much impossible there's always a v cut and then maybe a back cut that is done with a saw and that that half would be straight but the first part it, it's got to have that that v uh, cut into it and that kind of brings me to the next point this one every game gets wrong even new world which has like the current standard for gathering visuals and sounds is when you swing an axe into a tree to chop it you do not swing the axe at the same angle again very nitpicky there's not a single game that gets this one right so if ashes can do this like congrats you're the best uh, this one i just got to mention because i've actually done logging i've cut down fairly large trees with an axe before and uh, you can't cut at the same angle every time you just think about it right like you need basically the way it works is you cut one swing from one angle one swing from the other angle and you make this like horizontal v into the tree you got to think about a big thick tree getting through it you you can't just do a straight line through it you've got to have that that v cut right in the front the face cut and then you do the back cut so obviously like doing all of that would be too much but what would really like stick out for me as a game that knew what they were doing with these visual animations is if your character at least had two different angles they swung the axe right they should have one where they're coming down from the top and then another where they're coming kind of straight in from the bottom or even like a slightly different angle to make that that v cut into the front of the tree which is the proper way to cut a tree you will never cut through a tree if you swing the axe at the same angle even like a million times you'll you'll just be there forever it's all about those two separate angles coming together and it chips like actual big chunks of plates of wood out um the line is so just flush perfectly smooth cut right it looks like it was cut with a sawmill 
It should be very kind of like jagged and, and just pieces and, and, and you know, like all, all it'd be, it should be messy looking if it was cut down with an ax. And, and for me, like I can, I say, for me, it was, it, it's so stand out that it was, it was like jarring how smooth that cut is. It's like, that was, that was so unrealistic. And the last subject that they really wanted feedback on was the surveying and this fact that you're not going to be able to just visually identify everything in the game. And I thought it was a pretty interesting idea. I can see already how the people who just want efficient, easy, you know, get everything easy, efficient, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. They don't like the risk versus reward. They want it all just kind of given to them quick. They're not going to like this. But right away, I immediately thought of things like how much harder this is going to make shit on bots, how much harder this is going to make shit on uh, making the guides on where everything is and right. Because if you don't know what in the rock until you bust the rock open like and then that's rng and then also the exact spawn location of the node the next time is also rng you're creating all these layers where it's going to be very 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 difficult for things to to just become overly optimized and so efficient right that you see even actual real characters running around the world in such an efficient pattern that you think they're bots and you follow them around uh, and you, you try to send them group invites and stuff to see if they'll accept because you think it's probably a bot because they're just so like like a freaking robot because right that's what happens when you have the static spawns i think it's a pretty interesting idea the surveying i have a little concern on it depends on how it's implemented uh right away i just kind of thought of like lost arcs super shitty survey thing um speaking of lost ark little shout out here the, the, the one good thing in lost ark is the two person saw for cutting down a tree that's the one enjoyable gathering act that happens in lost ark and steven did you know they did drop some little hints at there being two person saws it sounded more like the two person saw thing would be after the tree had been felled and you guys like cut it up into segments and you get extra resources out of it i'd love to see a two-hand saw for being able to like you know do the actual tree cutting park down like they do in lost ark that was always really cool when you're cutting a tree another person came up and then you end up like in sync doing it and it's like legit the only cool part of gathering and lost Ark at all. That's my quick feedback on the specific questions that Steven had he want to answer. Like I said, I want to keep it short. I don't want to be doing a super long thing here. There was so much stuff in that live stream. Uh, the, there'll probably be more videos to come, right? Like he reiterated again some stances on risk versus reward, PVP, all this kind of stuff that I feel like, right, they're their own video topics uh, entirely. There's been a lot of, you know, discussion on the ashes and the risk versus reward and the PVP and all this stuff on Reddit and pretty much everywhere that I go and I see people talking about this game. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Uh, extra thank you guys really so much if you're on the patreon or the youtube it really is a massive help to me uh, especially with the things i have going on in my life right now uh, i will catch y'all in the next video